Hi everybody. Um, as you, um, well, I'm just posting it now. I've just done a a, a video on a, an item, but um, this is uh, this is nothing to do with 3D printing, and it's nothing whatsoever to do with my workshop. It's it's solely it's a personal video, is this? And. Um, on a couple of my videos I said I've, I haven't been able to post one or I do various things because I've been busy, busy with uh, medical issues. Well, this video is about prostate cancer. Um, last, last month I got the results of some tests that I've been going through um, and for prostate cancer and it came up positive um, being diagnosed with prostate cancer not aggressive type um, or the evasive one nevertheless it's prostate cancer and um, and this video is just basically myself I feel I think that I need to put something back out there for all the men um, when they reach they say the age from 50 onwards but I feel that um, men to check themselves down there for testicular cancer and, and as you get older please go have the test for the prostate cancer for your, your blood tests um, it's my symptoms I'd, I'd had two hernias done through issues at where I used to work, I'd wonder on the right side um, about two and a half years ago, and then I had the left side done, um, sort of back end of last year. Um, it's full of heel, but the nature of the the actual, um, fortunately for myself, really, it it the nature of the. Um, the actual operation that it was done very low down and um, very close to the pubic bone and so the surgeon said and it, it was rather a large incision and and from that I've healed fully from that but what it, it left me with was a feeling that on the morning I was bursting to go to the low I go to the low not a problem and uh, and then for the rest of the day I wouldn't have anything and that continued so I just went to my GP and and explained you know and he said right well uh, we'll do some blood tests so I went for some I had some blood tests done and I believe it's for your PSA levels anyway <laughs> it came back that my PSA levels had risen from what was one point something down to up to five point six I believe and because there were a, an increase although it was low they said it was an increase so something was going on and so I went down to see the appointment with the consultant down at St James's Hospital and St James the consultant was very good he examined me both rectal and um, exterior wise and spoke to me and he said yep yeah, you've got a your prostate they can feel that through um, a rectal examination and he said it's it's a bit lumpy on one side it's not smooth it should be smooth he said a lot of men of um, I'm 66 a lot of men of your age can have an enlarged prostate and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever it does enlarge as you get older but anyway um, he, he, we went sort of down the road then of waiting for another appointment I had another blood test and it came back the same and then he said right we'll send you for a um, MRI scan which I had and then you'll have to have the the dreaded biopsy now I'd just like to stress out there to all the men that feel that that's one thing that puts them off going for any tests whatsoever I can assure you 
I went down there for my biopsy and I never felt a thing. The, the, the three doctors, in one was a consultant and the nurse in that room was highly professional at the job. Understanding, the nurse was so understanding, uh, it's a bit embarrassing, that's about all. But I came out of there and I thought, and, and I had been, to be fair, I'd been um, put off by and scared by, oh, they do this and they do that. I can assure you, it's doing very professional and I never felt a thing. I got my results back and it was um, low grade. I think he said it was C3 um, prostate. Couldn't find any other aggressive cells whatsoever in my prostate. Um, and he said we wouldn't remove it with it being low grade so he said we put you on what they call now an active surveillance and that active surveillance monitors me I've just been for another blood test with blood tests every three to four months and MRI scan um, once a year and they keep so I am now in a far better position than I've ever been it doesn't worry me now whatsoever because I know whatever happens they're on top of it now they did say a lot of men are out there and they, they carry these low grade C3 cells and they they don't know they've got them because they've never had a biopsy or they've never had been tested for you know the well man blood test for your PSA levels and they, they go through all the life not having any effect on them but what I'm saying to you is, is I've been fortunate and I count myself very lucky here and our friends of mine that wasn't lucky and didn't get that chance to not have surgery they was told straight away you're having it out you must have it out it's, it's aggressive and I've spoke to them and, and 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 because I had somebody to speak to that's had it and had the prostrate out then you understand it all but the reason for making this video short video is please please you men out there don't be frightened go get yourself a blood test it, you know if you don't if you can have the well man blood test that's fine but if you've got any symptoms or anything down there no matter how small please see your GP it isn't the end of the world and I have found out that there's there's more support out there for all this than I ever dreamt of and and I'm as I say I find I think I'm fortunate and, and somebody up there is looking after me so that's why I say to you and I say in every video be careful out there and take care of yourself I hope this short video helps and uh, remember look after yourselves get to your GP of any symptoms okay thumbs up bye for now